Hey everyone, it's Rainash30, and today I've gone through the evolution of Tim Drake's Robin in all of his appearances in TV shows and movies. But before I begin, I'd like to thank Exter for sponsoring this video. They're known for creating the best smart wallets in the world with RFID protection and its solar power tracker worldwide, which just slips easily into the wallet. Only 2 hours of sunlight gives you 3 months of charge. And after downloading the Chipolo app, if you happen to lose your wallet, you can use voice command to ring your tracker with your phone and vice versa. The wallet comes in a variety of different colors, styles and materials like black premium leather, but it's also ultra slim and cards are easily accessible, leaving no worry about gigantic wallets in your pockets anymore. So, if you want an awesome slim smart wallet, head over to shop.extra.com slash 30 to get up to 40% off. Number 1. The New Batman Adventures Beginning with his first appearance, we find Tim Drake running from the cops and later being kidnapped by Two-Face. After Batman intervenes and gets seriously injured, the Bat Boke takes them to the Batcave where Tim discovers Batman's identity. Frustrated that he can't join Batman to stop Two-Face, he becomes Robin, surprises Batman and Batgirl, and helps stop Harvey's plot. As Batman becomes displeased that he took the suit, Tim gets trained by him to become his new partner and later has unique adventures as Robin throughout the series. Halloween's over, kid. Now scram before you get hurt. The girl leaves with me, or you're the one getting hurt. Oh, 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 Number 2 Superman The Animated Series When Superman heads to Gotham after hearing that Batman is missing, he finds Robin taking care of the city alone. As Robin explains he has no idea where Batman is and that crime is getting worse, Superman decides to don the cape and cowl. Though he initially has trouble adjusting to the role, with Robin's help with case files, Batman's gadgets, sticking to the shadows and intimidating criminals, he's able to convince everyone of Batman's return and together, they uncover that Brainiac is behind Bruce's disappearance. It's cold out. Better bundle up. Black and blue are definitely your color. Batman, Schmat man. I got this down. Number 3. Batman Beyond Return of the Joker As the Joker returns to Gotham in the future, and Bruce refuses to speak about him, Terry turns to Barbara for answers. She then reveals the tragic story when Tim went on patrol solo, was kidnapped by the Joker, and was transformed to appear like him. Though Tim accidentally killed the Joker, Terry later confronts him, where he and Bruce discover his transformation into the Joker. But, after Terry frees him from the nightmare, Tim reconnects with Bruce. Hero time! That evens things up a little. Not really, bird boy. Number 4. Static Shock When Batman and Robin head to Dakota tracking the Joker, Robin connects easily with Static and they decide to team up. Though Batman and Robin later get ambushed by the Joker, Static rescues them and together they defeat him and his gang. As Robin agrees to stay in touch with Static, we later learn that he joined the Titans and sometimes when he felt underappreciated, Static convinced him he's lucky to have someone to teach him. Too bad it has to end this way, Robin. You and I are bird feather. I cannot tell you how many times I've heard that joke. Number 5. Justice League Making a few cameos in the series, we first see him in an alternate timeline where the Axis powers won World War II. As we find an alternate version of Batman, he explains to the Justice League why he started the Resistance, where we see Dick, Barbara, and Tim as members of it. Tim later makes his final cameo, as he and Alfred attend Superman's funeral after everyone except Batman believe he died. Incredible. Not really. It happens every day. That's why I started the Resistance. 
We're all orphans and outsiders fighting the good fight. Number 6. Batman, Mystery of the Batwoman As a new female bat vigilante shows up in Gotham and targets Rupert Thorns and the Penguin's business, Batman and Robin investigate. While Batman finds clues of two females being Batwoman, we see Tim training in the Batcave and later cross-referencing any connection between them. After finding a third woman to connect them all as the same Batwoman, Robin helps them stop Thorn and the Penguin's operation. Welcome to Superhero Tima. Number 7. Young Justice With the longest running appearance of Tim Drake in a show, we find him as the new Robin in the second season. Operating with the new roster compared to the original, he leads a variety of covert missions during the Reach's secret invasion. Two years after starting a relationship with Cassie, following Kid Flash's death, Tim leaves the team to star Batman Incorporated. As they work in the shadows to stop the light, Tim has relationship issues with Cassie due to keeping secrets from her, but a year after Batman folds Batman Inc., we see he joined the Outsiders. Form up! Blue, you have our six! See you, Minnow! Stay liquid, Minnows! <laughs> Number 8. Teen Titans Go When the crime alert rings and the Teen Titans ignore it, Robin calls his other team of Robins, including Tim Drake. As Tim admits they are the best of the best, they save the city council from Brother Blood in under 3 seconds. Continuing to stay lazy, the Titans convince the Robins to compete to see who is the best by doing stuff for them. But, after seeing all of them being better than him, Robin kicks all the other Robins out. Gotta step up your game, Robin, if you wanna compete. Ugh, I've never been so relaxed. Deep breaths, let all tension out. Reiki knuckle punch! Deep tissue karate chop! Your fingers are like tiny magic claw balls. Number 9. Batman Unlimited Animal Instincts As we find Red Robin training in the Batcave, he helps Batman's investigation in crimes committed by the Animalitia, and together, they are joined by the Flash, Green Arrow, and Nightwing. While the rest head for Penguin and his team, Robin begins hacking his cyber animals with the help of Kirk Langstrom, and later works with Man Bat to activate a force field and prevent Gotham from being destroyed. You see that combo? Yeah, you're still dropping your shoulder. Red Robin saves the day again. Try not to break them. Then build them smarter. Number 10. Batman Unlimited Monster Mayhem Continuing in the film series, we find Red Robin and Batman chasing Solomon Grundy and Silver Banshee. After they escape, Robin is seen having fun with his VR video game, but is later joined by the others when the Joker unleashes a virus on Gotham. As Robin rescues the video game developer Gogo, he and the others battle Joker's team. While Gogo works to shut down the virus, he was forced to create. How do you kill the flamethrower zombie boss in Armageddon Days 4? With the sniper rifle! The sniper rifle! I knew that! Put you in the bush! Number 11. Batman, Gotham by Gaslight. Set in the 19th century, we find Tim and the other Robins as orphans on the street. To survive, they work for a thug and steal from the rich. But after Batman confronts them, he sends them to Sister Leslie. When Sister Leslie is later killed by Jack the Ripper, they attend her funeral where they meet Alfred and get hired to do odd jobs. Though after helping Batman, Bruce adopts them. I still say we take the wagon, the horse, and whatever this is, and skedaddle. But he fit us! We're gonna do the job, Jason. Good job. Now go. Number 12. Batman Ninja When Gorilla Grodd's quake engine goes off at Arkham Asylum 
and sends everyone to feudal Japan, Batman arrives two years later. As Red Robin, the Bat Family, and the Bat Clan later save Batman from the Joker, they train and prepare for a final battle against supervillains. Together, they face Two Face, Deathstroke, Penguin, Poison Ivy, and of course, Joker and Harley. And after defeating them, they use the Quake Engine to return to the present. I'm gonna wipe that half smile right off your face! <laughs> Number 13, Batman, Death in the Family. Onto this interactive film, viewers can choose the outcome of Jason Todd before his death. When viewers choose the option for Batman to save Robin, this leads to Batman dying instead, Jason becoming Red Robin, and a spree of killing criminals. As he later confronts Two-Face, who gets the upper hand, Two-Face flips his coin and prepares to kill him. As Tim Drake stuns Two-Face, and convinces Robin not to kill him, he later joins the Bat family as Bat Kid. You're a spooky kid, you know that? What do we do now? Um... You got a name? Tim. Uh, Tim Drake. Number 14, Titans, Season 3. Ending with his final appearance, we find Tim as a diehard fan of Batman and Robin, but is also a delivery boy for his parents' restaurant. Following Robin's death and the appearance of Red Hood, he discovers Dick's identity and asks to be the next Robin. While he's denied by Dick, he tracks down Jason, gets shot by the Scarecrow, and travels to the afterlife where he meets Donna and Hank. After coming back to life because of Hank's sacrifice, Tim and the Titans take Gotham back from the Scarecrow, and he later joins them when they return to San Francisco. You do the honors. No, are you supposed to be, huh? My name is Tim Drake. You tried to kill my family. You failed. <laughs> I forgot them. Now with the end of his evolution till he makes another appearance, comment down below which version of Tim Drake's Robin was your favorite. And if you enjoyed the video, consider dropping a like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram for updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you lads in the next evolution.